Yeah, smart war games here. Let's check out an rather by nowadays unknown war game by a developer called Simulations Canada. They might be known in some circles for their pretty serious war games. Most of them are text based, so if you look for graphics, look elsewhere. And most of those games are text based. But yeah, they're quite a thing, especially back in the days as they tried really to focus on realism. This game here is a bit different, naval stra strategy. It has also some limited graphics. Yeah, depiction by providing you a map. First things first, I didn't invest too much time into that. Didn't really prepare myself for the stream. So we'll see. I checked it out once to get an idea what is going on, but not too much. Yeah, so this is also here live for me. Yeah, it is as the title depicts naval strategy. There's different Cold War scenarios, late Cold War, and a modern one from the perspective of the mid 90s. Let's run historical 91. Yeah, there is some background presented in this game, giving you an idea how of what happened uh, here at George Bush. Uh, but that is not George Bush Jr. I think that is a senior. Yeah, Iraq invades Kuwait. That sounds quite historical. Desert Storm. Coup d'etat against Gorbachev. Yeah, that was basically a historical recap. Didn't see now anything. Perhaps this coup d'etat by hardliners went successful or different. And they decided to go all in. Yeah, I already checked out the screen here. You can select what nations are on what side. That is quite nice. Uh, you can also move countries to another side. There's already a preset. We might leave it like that, which gives you blue and red. Uh, you can also hear China, you for example could pull on red for a 2000 scenario in order to get something modern like Russia or post-Soviet Russia and China uniting against US and the PAC agreement. Yeah, Japan is also neutral for 2000. I guess Japan might go blue. Etc. We will leave it like that. Yeah, there are some objectives you can set. So this is basically a sandbox, doctrine, etc. We will leave that. Weapon let lethality can also be changed. But only in a basic way to make a nation stronger. And we will now select... Let's select this time red for. Just wonder now, wait, tap. Ah, okay. Good. Now blue is now computer and we will play Soviet Union and conquer the world. Devil wish. Jimmy, nuclear doctrine, weapons free. <laughs> sea targets went everywhere. Mm hmm. Well, sea tides, Jimmy, go all in. Free use! Land tides, free use. Um, yeah, I want to see what. <laughs> but you can do that, yeah. So basically, some maniac took control of Russia and there's no nuking everything. Why not? It is a. Yeah. Wednesday is coming up. Um, but I already set this up here. Continue. 
Good. It's basically some sort of grand naval strategy game. You're allowed to give orders here to not only ships but also aircraft. And you can here list your battle groups currently here. Yeah, consisting of different ships like aircraft carriers, battleships even. Battleships, you say, uh, most of the Soviet Union operating battleships. Perhaps missile guided cruisers, I would say. But yeah, there is basically CG is a guided cruiser or missile guided cruiser. Guided missile cruiser. I wonder what battleships they have or what classifies as a battleship. But whatever, yeah, we have some, yeah, Kiel probably. There's also a battle cruiser. Perhaps that qualifies as a BB. Good. You can also form battleships, uh, battle groups, and you can list ships. You can list even submarines, yeah, sub locations. Here we have. And the detail in this game is pretty good. Yeah, for example, if you check out a specific unit, it also set up areas, which are already pre-designed, and also specify priorities for those. We won't now go for manual input, we will stick with the default, but you can also hit S for staff recommendations. That is quite nice for a game of this age that comes already with some pretty good AI assistance. Yeah, check out intelligence ops. Yeah, you can give priorities, currently most is um, assigned to Arctic and North Atlantic. So let's leave that. Yeah, and mining operations is also a thing. Currently no mining conducted. Amphibious operations, yeah. You can here mount amphibious operations against bases. Of the blue four, yeah, you can land in France, right in France, conduct an amphibious. But amphibious operations in modern warfare is one of the most complex operations you can pull off. It's even more difficult than what an amphibious operation was in World War II. Good. Other than that, that is here. Yeah, submarines, we talked about them. Surface ships, we talked. Aircraft. Yeah. Theaters of operation. Cola air bases. Target priorities for all air bases. An order an airstrike and transfer aircraft, set mission priorities for assets like anti sub, anti surface strikes. Yeah, most is text based and it is turn based. So let's see, we can give orders, we can. I want to show you the map. A yeah, set of fog of war level is currently high, that is, I guess, the most realistic. Yeah, mes message delay, Jimmy, I don't know. Uh, three seconds is the default, I'll uh, stick with that. You can change side. Victory status currently. Yeah, you have a lot of reports, you can ask your staff. staff Then you see Blue Force currently leading in force levels. And yeah, it comes also with stuff like power projection. Yeah, that is really important for naval activity, power projection yeah, or sea control. A lot of naval games struggle to really depict the true business of naval assets. And power projection is really important. Yeah, here we have a, that is what I was looking for. Yeah, that is a graphical component. And let's select the North Atlantic Theater, it might be important. And here, for your details, yeah. And yeah, that is the. Uh, are we in the North Sea right now? Seems like. 
Mm. Oh, perhaps, yeah, I think the enemy is in red. Uh, red is not Soviet. Uh, check out Pacific, West Pacific. No, we must be red. I mean, that seems to be our assets here. Okay, nothing here. Yeah, okay. It's technical data. Yeah, you can also uh, check out there is a database and quite detailed for a game of this age. Yeah. I mean, it's not coming with flights or whatever, but you can check out at least the basics of the of a LA class. And we'll get authentic weapon names like AdCap, MK48 torpedoes. Ah, they used uh, some old school MK48s and they used some AdCap MK48s. Harpoon, anti ship missiles, Tomahawk, Lambs. Or T lamps. Yeah, sonar efficiency, noise level. It's not really that detailed, but yeah, if you get the idea. Uh, aircraft data can check out here some aircraft. Like the. Yeah, F 22 Superstar. And because uh, back in the days, that aircraft was probably just come known to the public and they didn't know what call sign it will receive uh, it was in the end it was raptor but back in the days they simply picked a name and superstar why not yeah <laughs> that is a superstar here but just say we cv capable yeah that is not really true if you want a self fight a cv capable you go for the f-35 but yeah, back in the days, nobody knew that. I think F-22, at least the F-22 right now in operation. I mean, they stopped production and will keep it on limited numbers, the US. I'm definitely uh, pretty sure not CV capable. Yeah, let's end the turn and see what happens. I'm also not really sure what how to play this game. Okay, North Sea is something going on. Bremen, the Germans starting a war. <laughs> the Germans pulling off here with some frigates and guided destroyers, guided missile destroyers. Oh, Su-24 shot down. Yeah, war, war is hot. Tornados from Germany. Jimmy, Germany starting World War Three. Germany starting World War Three here from Germany. And yeah, war is conducting in Central Europe. Tornados are shot down. And aircraft from the Roosevelt Battle Group. So I understand this game is basically somewhat similar to Rule the Waves. You are not in tactical charge here, yeah, you don't give single orders. But you, but you basically the supreme commander that is assigning assets to the theaters. You have some tactical control, yeah. You can design airstrikes. We saw that in the menu. But I guess your job is is really similar to rule the waves. I really like the idea. You basically assigning assets at those theaters, and then the rest is happening automatic. Uh, there's warfare conducted by those assets. And in a turn resolution, you will be presented with this here. And if you see, for example, and then you check your stuff, they might report to you, Jimmy, we are losing control over the North Atlantic. Yeah. Or Europe is getting stronger. NATO force in Europe in the land war gaining superiority. We need to 
prevent them from reinforcing and then you might decide good then let's focus on the north atlantic so it's basically some tom clancy novel oh jimmy a nuclear bob, a nuclear strike happened was it the americans that fired their first nuke Uh, free Jimmy, can I slow down? That is quite interesting to read. Like a that reads like here, the Clancy novel. Uh, Jimmy, I like the game. Perhaps we will do a playthrough. I like this game because you are not supposed to micromanage, but you basically, but somebody nuked us or we nuked them. Um, I mean, I basically unlocked those nukes. But yeah, that w that went fast. Yeah. So we are already in at least tactical nuclear warfare. Good, let's see what is going on. Staff recommends following airstrike from Russia. Vladivostok Air Base. Target US, Japan Air Bases. Range 900 miles. Time to prepare strike 15 hours. Cheerio. <laughs> It is a really nice game, man. That gives that is really some Tom Clancy stuff here. Also from the interface and from the cover, it's pretty good. I don't know any other game that is like this. And we might play make a playthrough of this. I really like what I see. I would like to have something like this where you not micromanage every single bomber like and CMO or whatever, but you are basically some supreme military, whatever field marshal and decide what is going on you have a staff that gives you recommendations they might be good they might be not good <laughs> so jimmy you want to bomb those japanese i was thinking they're neutral whatever but the us has an air base there that's true bomb them nuke them <laughs> yeah not bad first the f-22 was going to be the f-22 ah lightning lightning raptor was different right yeah lightning is sick Ah, they changed it to Raptor. Ah, true, okay. Yeah. Remember, Lightning was also a game called, yeah. And they gave the Lightning to the F-45 Joint Strike Factor. Ah, okay. Oh, wow, there's another I have to get. I sent you an email, by the way. I found the game already, but now need manual. Yeah, manual, not sure if I can help you with that. You're showing worrying signs of addicting behavior. You got war game fever. I know, this looks similar to Malta Storm. What is Malta Storm? A book? Okay, yeah, here our bombing raid is coming in. And we managed to destroy some F-16 multi-role fighters on the ground. Jimmy, that is here. Clancy novel in DOS. That reads really like, uh, what is the English title? Red Sto um, Red, Red. Yeah, I know, everybody knows the book. I wasn't really that impressed by it. Um, Red Storm, Jimmy. <laughs> I read it, yeah, I read it. Red Intelligence Report. Davarish General Pani Maya. Yes, Jimmy, give me that report. Mala Dietz. Radio Direction Finding. Look at this. Uh, they even have here some high classified intelligence asset located. Enemy sub in the Northwest Pacific Ocean. Oberon class. Oberon class is what? Australian, right? Ah, Jimmy, I. Uh, uh, the Australian hunting submarine or whatever, I don't care for them. Nuke, nuke, nuke the Pacific Ocean and... Jimmy, but stop resolving the turn, I need to check out what is going on on the planet. Uh, people are still blowing up, I have no command currently. MiG-23 floggers shot down, three F-16s blasted. Sovereigny uh, many attacks the Bremen. In the Baltic Sea, Baltic warfare is erupting. German ships versus Soviet ships blasting each other into submission. Exocet missile shot down. That is really here some Clancy porn. That could be really some pages of Clancy, of a Clancy book. FF mod Restigouche attacking. Bremen is attacking the Cluster 2. And the Cluster class is sunk with a harpoon. Actually, that is really not bad. I really, really like what I see in this game. That is really unique. I don't know any other game that is working like this. 
I just wonder when I'm... Wait, I need to press a button, I guess, to interrupt. Warfare is here happening without me. I'm pretty sure there's some interrupt button. Okay, now I press, press pause. And P is pause. Foxtrot class submarine hits mine, is sunk. Another group encounters a minefield in the Baltic Sea. Blue st okay, now we turning. Blue Staff is... Hey, we will indeed do a playthrough of this. I really like what I see. That is a unique game. That is really one of the most Tom Clancy games. Redstorm Rising, yeah, that was the title. Now I remember. The book, yeah, which everyone is talking about. Wasn't really that um, big fan of that, but you need to give kudos to Tom Clancy because back in the days there was no keyboard warriors, no Wikipedia or whatever, where you could quickly get those information. That was really tough work to research all those, all this stuff. Uh, Jimmy, no, wait, wait, wait. What is going on here? Orders. Jimmy, first give me reports. What happened? Where did this nuke went off? Let's check out what is going on in in our home waters here. What is that here? This yellow thing here? Is that Soviet? I, mean, I don't think so. Blow it up. There's something yellow here. It might be unknown. Jimmy, if it is an unknown carrier group, it is not. It is an enemy carrier group. I'm pretty sure it's not a. Um, Tibetanian uh, uh, carrier group. Nuke it. Okay, we have here battle group Kalinin and the carrier Kiev in the Barents. We should handle that. Let's see, what do we have else here? North Atlantic. How is North Atlantic looking like? Yeah, Invincible is a British carrier, right? It's a battle group consisting of even amphibious transports, frigates, guided destroyers, unreported. Okay. But that is in the North Sea. I think the yellow one is the selected one. Yeah, in the Baltic Sea there is absolutely a battle of madness going on. South Atlantic. Holidays. South Pacific, Holidays, West Pacific, Battlecruiser incoming, Frunze, Frunze, what is that? What is that? Facing off the Chavona, Ukraina. We even have amphibious troops here. Actually, who is Frunze? Frunze, Frunze, what is that? I uh, get information on it. Is that nuke it? I don't know it. Nuke it. Good. What is going on here in the Middle Eastern region in the Mediterranean? Leningrad, Slava in the Black Sea. Uh, Lening Leningrad in the Eastern Mediterranean. We have a report submarine there. Nuke it. Indian Ocean. Nuke it. Missouri. Battleship Missouri. Battle group. But that Missouri is not even that important. But four guided cruisers. Yeah, I think they reclassified the Miss... Yeah, I don't know. Did they... I think the Missouri can be reclassified as a guided cruiser. Good. What is my staff saying? Jimmy, that doesn't look good. I think the number went lower. Oh, there's so much information. Okay, what happened? Weekly. So, one week is one turn. And, yeah, currently is quite even for combat units. So it's currently a one-on-one -on -one ratio of blowing up stuff. But somebody fired a... <laughs> that 
It's absolutely crazy, this game. I like it. That is... Okay, what is that screen indicating? Red killers, blue victims. Ah, okay, I get it. So, let's see. Our guided cruisers killed two frigates. BMRs. Not sure what is a BMR. Brenne via Machina Reconnaissance. What is a BMR? BAM military right and FTR FTR Fighter 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 Bomber Bomber yeah Pat General Patton Yeah Fighters okay let's see Fighters killed eleven another Fighters twenty Fighter Bombers one Patton Pat Patrol yeah, patrol aircraft, probably ASW patrol, something like uh, Orion. But let's switch sides. So our fighters killed eleven enemy fighters. Blue fighters killed eleven enemy fighters. So that is pretty good. The Soviet fighters doing good. Yeah, not like in Tom Clancy. Tom Clancy. Jimmy, man, our Soviet fighters are good. They are not shot down in masses. MiG-23 for glory. Flogger, best aircraft. Good, what do we have here? Tier objectives. Power projection. North Atlantic, Jimmy, I want to block the North Atlantic. There's no power projection, it is survival. Um, right here, reports. Oh, okay, there's only a report, there's not a change. Yeah, power projection. And what is the blue force? Are they trying to control the North Atlantic? Yeah, of course they try. Mm, okay. I need to control North Atlantic, Jimmy. Like in Tom Clancy, you know, that is really important. But I like the game, it's really nice. Uh, if you would release something like this on Steam, it would sell, I tell you. For 5 euros or whatever, 5 dollars. That is a game never done like this, yeah. You Very nice. Yeah, we already checked that out. Technical data, I don't need that. Stuff analysis, I checked that out, yeah, but I already have information. Good. Order of battle. Yeah, that is of course everything nice, but let's check out what I want to do now. Submarines. I want to search submarines into the North Atlantic. That is, the, the area is... Yeah, I'll change it. Steph. Jimmy, I accept. So you think that is a good North Atlantic Ocean? Jimmy, I'm really, I want to pull off here. North Atlantic Ocean. High priority. Is it? Is it done? Yeah, North Atlantic Ocean has now high priority for sub-ops. Jimmy, I want to blow up those capitalist transports. Ah, Franz, Franz, Franz is a Russian ship. Okay. Kirov class. Ah, didn't know that because it doesn't sound Russian. Uh, let's start, but let's start to read from above. No, it's a gr This looks. No, it's a great old PC Amiga game, Milder Storm. Do you think it is worth to check it out? If you say it's similar to this one. Milder Storm is that blue screen game you sent me a screenshot of. It is exactly the same as Smilder Storm, I'm certain. Same? Is it us by Can Canada? Uh, Simulations Canada. One of the most things, most fun things ever was playing Smilder Storm without a manual, just everything figuring out how it all worked. Yeah, that's basically what we do. I couldn't find a manual as well. But I always figure out things on the live. You have to deploy various assets and keep an eye on supply levels, yeah. There's basically here a management juggling game. Definitely the same system. 
I like this, this one, try Maldor Storm as well. Yeah, let me quickly note that because of, before I forget it. Maldor Storm, you say? Never heard of that. Mm. Malta Storm. What? Storm rips through Taurus areas of Malta. Uh, Jimmy, I want the game. Board game. It ah, okay. Um, I see it. Good. Nice one. The game is tremendous. Can't believe I never heard of it before. Found a disc where anyone found a menu online, can't find a menu, never could find one. Willing to buy this game even today, really need the menu to play this effectively. Yeah, I mean, sure it is complex, but I think by toying it around a couple of hours you might figure out the get enough information cues to operate it proficiently. As we basically do here. Maladiers. Jimmy, Soviets, Soviet aircraft, aircraft, aircraftski, best. My Air Force is doing good. Uh, Jimmy, <clears throat> do I need to figure out my the targets on my own? For my bombers? What? Russia has an airbase in Vietnam. Could hit the Invincible. Hmm. I don't think so. Cola airbase. Yeah, perhaps don't overdo it in the beginning. Good. Yeah, Steph. Nice. Hmm. Aircraft. Bar Baltic Sea is currently quite... Uh, if you can get rid of those nasty Germans, to me that would be nice. Let's get rid of those German naval and air assets. Baltic Sea, priority. Uh, mission priorities. Let's see. Yeah, Jimmy, I accept. Yeah, you are my generous. Privet, you have an idea. That is a recommendation by the staff. Convoy escort. Unwrap. Unreported, un unreported target check out of what? Anti sub, whatever you say, Tony's. We do that. Should we, why? Oh, submarines don't have priorities. SSBN, yeah, that is ballistic nuclear submarines. But what happened to this nuke? Nobody talks about nukes or what? Amphibious operations, ground forces. Yeah, we have a ton of ground forces. Let's Invade something. Kilo has uh, Jimmy, don't invade our own airbase. Okay, red mines 10. So you're mining. Well, I accept that. Intelligence ops. Yeah, South Atlantic currently nothing going on, so we will leave that. None of your battle groups can land. Jimmy, perhaps let's form some. Uh, quite a lot of soldiers here sitting. <laughs> yeah, but amphibious operations are super complicated uh, in real life. You might waste yourself. First, air superiority, nuking the enemy. 
blowing up submarines, blowing up aircraft, that is important. Then we can talk about amphibious operations. Without air superiority, without naval sea control, no amphibious operations. Yeah, golden rule of invading other countries. Yeah, check out the book 101 on invading other countries. Good, uh, reports, we check them out. Is there anything else I want to do? Yeah, I would like to find out who got nuked, but seems like that is not really important. Okay. Stelay. Oh, Carrier Ranger attacks Russia Vietnam airbase. Jamming Defenders Radar. Tomcats engaging enemy aircraft. MiG-23. One Tomcat sh shot down. Jimmy, shoot them down, yes. Maladiets. And one another intruder shot down. Attack those Germans. Yes. Send in those MiG-27. What is a MiG-27? What's a MiG-27? I think that means Su-27. What's a MiG-27? Flogger? Ah, yeah, there might be a configuration that was indeed called MiG-27. Okay. Anti-radiation missile is fired. Air defense is reduced by 100%. Germany has without air defenses. Backfire is now coming in and blowing up those German destroyers. German naval force is just existing on paper. Westerwald damaged, Bremen sunk, Ludjens damaged, Hamburg sunk. Jimmy, how is the Lutyens damaged if it was already sunk? Whatever, bomb them. German naval force stopped to exist in the Baltics. But here, Eisenhower aircraft carrier responds with FI 18s, launch harpoon on our guided destroyers here, Kashin class. Kla Kashin sunk. Real black day. For the Russian Navy or Soviet Navy. Bremen sunk. Jimmy, another Bremen. The uh, frigate Amazon Prime sunk. Frigate Ali Express sunk. Good. Yeah, while stuff is blowing up on the world, I will hit the restroom like a true. Supreme Commander. Jimmy, if somebody gets nuked, please let me know in the chat, yeah? Okay. <clears throat> MiG-31 Fox Sound air superiority high velocity factors engaging F-15 Eagles. Oh, that doesn't... Oh, a lot of F-15s shot down. And backfires conducting bombing attack.
The smaller song, be sure to check out sometimes you're in command of Axis forces in the Mediterranean have to take Malta. Ah, okay, it's World War II. It's like watching old versions of Football Manager. Where each player, yeah, I know that. Football Manager, even with the 3D, because the 3D was often wonky. You played Football Manager as with text because it was more exciting. I think it was going on in your imagination. Watching the 3D resolution was well, nuclear burst. CV Ranger Battle Group launched missile strike. Vietnam Air Base got nuked. 41 MiG 23 destroyed. Hey, Jimmy, those American warmongers. I was never a fan of nuclear warfare. But you see the Americans nuking here Vietnam. Yeah, that is, and they nuked the entire airbase. Airbase destroyed, yeah, not hit, destroyed. Fired seven T lamps. That is Tomahawk land attack missiles with nuclear warheads. Six hit the target and destroyed our entire war, entire airbase in the, in Vietnam. That is not good. Yeah, I might now design an airstrike. Eisenhower conducting an air attack. Seems like it didn't work out. Italian tornadoes attacking Cushing class destroyers. And the Baltic Sea is still. Occupied by enemy naval forces. And the Roosevelt wants to go in. Jimmy nuke that Ro Roosevelt. Nah, nuke that Ranger. Nuke that Ranger. Out from the seas. Good, there's a lot of Perry class operating in the North Atlantic Sea, but that is obvious. They might run those frigates on active, but the CVs on passive. Highly classified intelligence asset located. Guided cruiser, Bunker Hill class cruiser in the North Atlantic as well. And a ton of Perry class ASW frigates. And a satellite identified a permit class in the Northwest Pacific Ocean. Radio direction finding located the carrier Garibaldi in the central Mediterranean. Kilo class fires 53 torpedo against 206 German submarine. Two Seehecht bomb the heck out of a kilo. Okay, and our staff is immediately recommending an airstrike against Yokosuka port. Jimmy, I want nukes. <laughs> Estimate probability of success. Uh, Generalski. No, wait. Um, yeah. Davarish. Ivanov reports he is sure that this attack will go through 99%. Jimmy, bombs? Why not use nukes? The, the capitalists are. No, oh, Jimmy, okay, we accept that. Wow. 
Boah, the game is thinking hard now. Gali Bala attacks Russia Central Mediterranean ports. Sea Harriers, yeah, probably Italian. Bombing attack. It is one of the most Cold War games ever played. That is so Cold War. Sandra Fischer nuked. <laughs> Never fan. A fan of nuclear warfare. Jimmy spent 16 hours playing Detroit becoming human to get a nuclear bombing <laughs> and still didn't get it. Uh, Jimmy, that was a bit, really the biggest disappointment. That I won a game without nukes by accident. Good, let's see what happened here. Enemy combat units destroyed. Yeah, seems like the blue managed here more. But we managed more damage. Nothing else is in parity. Use of nuclear weapons. <laughs> that is, in this game you get victory points for that? Or is it a... Uh, ah, no, that is abstracting, right? Uh, subtracting. Yeah. Use of nuclear weapons is removing victory points. That's why it is in brackets. Victory status in doubt for both sides. Jimmy, but we are leading here. We are not using here some shady nuke strikes of poor Vietnam in order to win the war. Those frogger pilots didn't see it coming. Sitting there in the base, eating a sandwich, suddenly a bright like liked. Jimmy, why is nobody proposing me a nuclear strike on Ranger? Orders, aircraft. Wait, but you can also equip here submarines. Where's my SSBNs? We need to send a signal, a strong message to the NATO that nuclear warfare is not accepted by tech striking the heck out of them. Yeah, SSMB and patrol, Jimmy. Can I activate my SSBNs? Is that rules of engagement? Let me check them out. Where's the rules of engagement for nuclear weapons? Strike. Where's this Ranger? Yeah, currently the Ranger is not a uh, not an acceptable Eisenhower. Gali Baldi nuked those Italians. They will immediately switch sides. Um, what do we have available? Which mean nothing. Okay, let's see if you can nuke something else. Eisenhower. Okay, yeah, we got something here, wait, but perhaps the Italians. Let's try out those nukes on some minor ally, ally first. No, no, wait, no, Jimmy. Garibaldi. It's an Italian CV, right? Where was it? Here. Garibaldi Battle Group. From Sevastopol. Jimmy, nukes are not allowed. What do you mean? What do you mean? Who is who is giving your orders? Who told you that nukes are not allowed? Wait. I specifically 
state in the orders. Nukes are welcome. Ja. Mission Priorities, Nuking. 100%. Jimmy, where is the nuke switch? That is. Mining. Nuke mining. Staff here. Nuke. Did I by accident set up the game for the NATO free nukes and for the Soviets not? I think I did that. Uh, in the setup screen I think I allowed the NATO to nuke me while I didn't allow myself to use nukes. Yeah. Let me kind of change signs quickly here. Check it out. Uh, we got some Soviet spy in the highest ranks. Oh, we are still on the Soviet side. Hmm. Perhaps it's not working starting with the next turn, but I'm pretty sure that I set it up that the NATO is allowed to nuke us, while we are not allowed to nuke. Yeah, those warmongers. Peaceful Soviets not nuking innocent. Good. Whatever, yeah, I should give you an idea of the game, perhaps you will do a playthrough of that. Because I really like what I see, that it's really a unique game. How great would it be if this game were made today with a modern GUI and a tutorial? Actually, the GUI seems pretty good. Yeah, I think it's... I mean, you will figure out more stuff. Sure, mastering it is a different... But I think, yeah, menu would be great. I don't know if there's one. Pretty sure there's one, but if it is somewhere to be found. But it's really a nice game, yeah. very unique. That is Redstorm Rising the game. Good. Yeah, that was Red Sky at Morning by Can Sim. Or Sim Can. And yeah, we'll come back.